I'm Carrie. Hi. Um, my friend Joni, she is an amalgam of all the people that talk to me and say, hey, Carrie, where's, where's the future of computers? Because this is what they think it looks like, boxy and ugly and boring and a drag. Let's break it out of that square. Let's break it out of that box. You get it. Love it. Love you. So let's break it out. And I want to show you using all of your senses, all of your parts, how technology touches us every day. Can you tell I'm a tech geek? Okay. So Corning made two amazing YouTube videos that show how um, touch is going to change. Huge rooms of, of glass that you can touch and interact with your computer. Every morning you can get woken up by it. It surrounds you. I know that sounds a little creepy, but it's there. Here, we know the iWatch and all of the wearables that are coming, the Fitbits and the Jabras and the iWatches, etc. They are there touching us every day. And then if you want it to know you and remember you and do what you need it to do without being asked, you have Nest, the thermostat, that after about 12 days knows your patterns and can save you money. IKEA already has a catalog that if you set it down on the floor after um, uploading the app or downloading, then it will tell you what your couch will look like in your room. <laughs> Augmented reality, it's already available. This one's the deep one. A child abuse organization in Spain developed lenticular, I believe, printing. If you're small, you can see the abuse. If you're tall, it looks like a regular poster. This saves lives. This is Tesco, the British grocery store that has QR codes and pop-up shops that are actually flat walls that you can grocery shop without carrying your food. They will deliver it to your home. This works really well in South Korea. No time for shopping. Of course, Google Glass is ready to come. What does it look like when you receive emails, notifications, your stock prices, what time it is, the temperature? Your vision is already there, and there's already a woman that's been um, busted for driving with Google Glass. Minority Report, Tech Geek. Love all the technology with the retinal scan. They can tell me the last time I went to the Gap or any other store and ask me, how did those crew necks work for me? The sense of smell is the most hardwired to our memory and our emotions. So the ability to smell with technology, we're still working on smell o vision it's a little out there. But uh, with advertising and the advancement of technology, you can now get full-size samples attached to your Vogue and Red Book and Women's Day. This came out in November, Daisy by Marc Jacobs. They were never able to do this before this year. So beyond smell, we have taste. Unfortunately, I don't remember the name of this particular product, but it does remember your shopping, it does remember what you've purchased, your allergies, and what you do and don't like. There are many others just like it. But of course, the first food in space. There's actually a hall of fame of food, if you're curious, and I have all of these pieces of technology cited at the very end, but NASA has a top-ranked list of space foods, including M&Ms, the most popular. <laughs> this poster you can play music on. There was a great video by Kate Stone uh, from Britain that she now mixes music with conductive ink on paper and can play a whole song for you. It's pretty awesome. If you Shazam this Jaguar commercial, you can now get an augmented reality tour of the car, move it all around and see the inside of the car. You can hear the engine if you're into that. It's very, mm. <laughs> Of course, voice recognition is not new. This virtual assistant is fairly new, but at this point, when you walk into your home and say, lights on, music on, heat on, she'll answer back. Whether or not you believe the future looks like the Borg, or looks happy like the Jetsons. I want you to know the future is not a place. We're not going to arrive there. And I'm still waiting for Marty's hoverboard. Anybody else, Marty's hoverboard? Okay. But the future is already here and it's using every single one of your senses. It's not in a box. It's no longer square. Computers are all around you. So be nice or they may get nasty.